Yo, are you seriously saying that I can't do that? You become... Ooh. Hello guys and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, in the last one we helped Napoleon with his love and uh, then we also ruined Robespierre's reputation and his significance to the Templars, I guess? I, I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, we're on our way to the main mission, can, unless we, of course, find a side mission on the way. Just replenish all my stuff, so I don't need that right now. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, that looks nice. There now, I want to talk to you. Whose side are you on then? What do you want? Wait, exactly how close am I to that over there? Uh, ooh, a bridge. Oh, bridge right here. Good. Here, everyone, have some money. Have all the money. It's <laughs> destroying money to people. How come I only got seven of these when I can just put all my money in pouches and then just throw it on the ground? Now this area is abandoned. Yeah, it really does seem like the revolution is getting closer and closer to finishing because there are less people in the streets now and less areas where everyone's going crazy. Of course, not everyone is uh, is gone, but more and more people are gone. <laughs> the heck? Okay. Alright, Elise, here we are. The Fall of Robert Spear. Message. What's going on? We may have gone too far in discrediting Robespierre. What's happened? He's been arrested. What? Apparently, he made vague threats about the purge against enemies of the state and the committee turned on him. They're taking him to Luxembourg prison. He's due to all the execution in the moment. Oh boy. That really went well. A little bit too well. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Liz. I'm sometimes just get carried away and I just run into people. This is what I do. Oops, I did it, I did it again. Uh, yeah, sorry again. What in the hell? These men were National Guard. Robespierre's escort. Damn it, we've lost him. Let's not panic just yet be able to find some sign of what happened. Uh, I mean, there's a person here. Oh, wait, that's you. We can't lose him. With this? Uh, nope. Okay. Not here. No one here got anything? Really? No, no witnesses? No nothing? You. Elise, 
What happened here? We were ambushed. Troops from the Paris Commune attacked us en route. They were trying to free the prisoners. Did they take Robespierre? I'm not sure. The fighting left me behind. They fell back. That way. Merci. Go find yourself a doctor. Oh. If he's still in custody, they'll have taken oh. him to Luxembourg prison. But if not, they'll need to hole up somewhere nearby. They won't get very far with half the city turned out against Robespierre. I'll check the prison. You follow the riot, see if you can pick up a trail. Right. Okay, let's see how this goes then. If I can't pick up a trail. What kind of trail am I looking for? Trail of blood, maybe? Wait, 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 dead body. Dead body trail, maybe? Dead body over here. Dead body over here. More dead bodies over here. And a hurt guy over here. They took him that way. That is not the way that's the way I just came from. Wow, I can't listen to these guys. Do not get into conflict. Oh, that's lovely. So where do you think you're going, Robespierre, huh? We need your help. What? The drag with the to join the Oh. Oh. It's fine, I don't care about that anyway. I'm running, I'm running, you do you. Oh, great. Thank God you made it, sir. The commune stands with you. Thank you, Sergeant. Your loyalty does you credit. Let's get inside, sir. The convention soldiers will be here soon. Yes, of course. I place myself in your capable hands. Uh, just these two guys? Those look big, really? Uh... I was not in your area when you did that. Ugh. Fine, I'll fight you then. Ah! In the middle of an animation! <laughs> Turn me off? What? Yeah, you can't grip onto anything. I really hate that. Whoops, that's money. <laughs> Have some money. I click the button. Mm. 
I also clicked the button there, but it doesn't let me do anything. I also clicked roll. Is there some kind of input delay? There must be. Wow, this is really not working out for me. At least now they must lose me. It's over there, you see. How? Who are you looking at? What? Of course, of course, we got freaking people with guns all over the place. Destroy it and you. But this then, huh? Another daughter lock pick. Damn him. Oh, never mind. I sent for Zamba hours ago. Don't mind the blood. Gemma warned me about you. You're one of them, aren't you? An assassin. Not anymore. Where's Germain? Elise. We don't have much time. Where is Germain? I will never talk. <laughs> then right. <laughs> oh, you just shot through his freaking mouth. <laughs> The temple. I should have known. I hope you enjoy revolutionary justice, Monsieur. Seize him. Boy, oh boy, did he get hurt? I love what the guards are like, huh? Oh well, must be the wind. <laughs> and then takes him and runs off. The wind just blew a hole in his cheeks. Okay, here we go. The temple, the temple. All right, let's go to the temple. If I remember right, the temple is pretty much the first... Um, it's the place where, in the beginning of the game, you played in the medieval age, and the temple is where he hid the Sword of Eden and uh, the book or the codex or whatever. Ooh, doll. The reason why I know that is because the ending of this game is kind of hard to forget. So from this point onwards, I do remember the game. But I don't remember anything from the middle or anything. Like, I don't remember anything in the middle of the part of the game. I don't remember the... I, didn't even, I actually didn't even remember the beginning. Only the, the last part of the game. Uh, that's the reason why I know about the Sword of Eden. Because I remember the last part of the game where I... Just be honest, yeah, you already saw that Arno gets it at some point. Uh, and he's pretty much going to get the Sword of Eden. How, I'm not going to say, but he does get his hands on it. The Temple Memory 3. 
It all comes to this. Shumane is hiding somewhere in the temple. Find him and kill him. We should split up. I'm not sure. It looks it's almost the same, honestly. I suppose that's true. I'm guessing it's because you want to murder him in brutal ways. If you get a shot at Jama, you take it. Oh, I just assassinated someone. You make me assassinate another one immediately after? Oh boy. Couldn't I just do what we did in the beginning of the game? Just kind of walk in? Germain's built himself quite a fortress. I can't see any weak spots. Come on, that's quite unrealistic. <laughs> at least try to talk to people to figure it out. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna do exactly as the assassins did in the other game. Just gonna walk in from the front entrance, just go a little ambush. I am Arno, an assassin. You think I can't fight you guys? Okay, you guys suck. Okay, you, you're just a little bit annoying. Could you like not do be annoying, please? <laughs> Are you trying to? Sound the alarm bell. Dude, this is only gonna end bad for you. It didn't let me attack there. But, oh wait, I don't have any freaking... Oh no, that's bad. Oh, great. Thank you for that. And I'm killed. Maybe I should just sneak in. Maybe. Just a little bit, you know. Maybe just try to sneak in. But honestly, I'm kind of... Like, I'm, I'm kind of tired about the whole attack a fortress thing. And then just... It's pretty much like Ubisoft saying, oh, to do it yourself. <laughs> just, just do it yourself. What am I looking for? Oh, I'm probably supposed to get in there, aren't I? If I was in a fortress like this, I would of course be in the castle. Uh, he doesn't let me climb up. I can't climb. What? Arno? Goodness sake. Arno is such a, an annoyance to control. He's Jacques de Molay reborn or some such. I'm You're joking. Back. Not even a little. He's probably down there trying to commune with his past life or something equally ridiculous. Mad as a hatter. I don't think de Molay is even buried down there. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 
a bit too late, huh? There we go. Oh, he said down there. When you say down there. Does he not be in the fortress? He has to be in there. Oh, he's up top. Yeah, okay, he is up, yeah. Okay, so... Hello there. Oh, he has access to that? What the hell was that? I didn't remember him having access to the sword already. So really? I suspected as much when Latouche stopped sending his tanks. A waste of my time. You're, are you seriously saying that I can't do that? You become... Ooh. How? What? I don't think that's the... Is that really the power the Sword of Eden has? What? Wait, why am I... What? Okay. It's fine. All fine. This I don't remember. I remember the cutscene. I remember being underground, not in here. Oh, about being underground. Wrong way. What happened to you? Germain's got some kind of weapon. I've never seen its like before. He got away from me. He didn't come past me. He must still be down there. Oh, he is, huh? as well this is quite the reunion stay hidden keep him talking did you think this day would never come um that because Francois de la Claire had no time to avenge him that your crime would go unsaid revenge is it your mission is as now here you are what that doesn't work it worked before <laughs> Revenge, is it? Oh boy. Come on, Anno, don't don't stay down don't there for too long. Come on, Elise. Try to distract him a little bit. It was never about power. It's always been about control. Did your father teach you nothing? Do you think yourself safe in your shadows? Ah! Ha 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 ha! No, I tried to take cover, but it didn't work. It just made me jump onto the thing instead. Oh, wow. What was she doing? So nothing works. Does this even work? And I no, doesn't do anything. Your vision is as narrow as your father's. A waste of my time. The darkness cannot protect you. I see you, assassin. 
You don't have a freaking... How wide of vision was your grab for power? Power? No, 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 you're smarter than that. This was never about power. It wasn't? Oh, what? I was stunned. I couldn't get into cover. God, this boss battle sucks. Did you think this day would never come? That because Francois de la Serre had no sons to avenge his head, your father was so haunted? Revenge, is it? Your vision is as narrow as your father's. You want to talk? How wide a vision was your grab for power? Great, now I can actually take cover once he returns, I think. Go, 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 go. No, still pretty much messed him up. Power? Don't be absurd. Power? This was never about power. Power? about control. You can't... This was never about... Power? Oh no, it's gonna be hard to take cover from here. Never about power, it's always been about control. Did your father Did your father teach you nothing? The old Why can't I swap cover? We've abandoned purpose for base. I will <laughs> <laughs> There we go. He's getting away. Wait, I'm almost free. I can take him. No, you can't. Not what? Alone. Wait for me. At least you gotta be kidding me. I'm sorry. Elise! Really? That's great. Elise, 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 no. It's fine, I didn't like her anyway. Honestly, this is like the worst romance option in any Assassin's Creed game ever. And that's not even a high bar, because the only one who really had romances are it's you, right? <laughs> and somewhat I'll tell you. She's such a douche character. <laughs> uh, fine, I can assassinate you, no problem. Slain the villain. That is how you cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the father of understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah, a particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. 
They found this place. Dr. Malay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Malay. And that I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. And to wash the world clean. And restore to the truth the father of understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exile and abasement forced me to reevaluate my strategy, to find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. It appears we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her. Alright, I got the Sword of Eden and Arno's Master Assassin Outfit. Now what happens to Sinodon I remembered? Is that like another mission where we carry her? No? Okay. The creed of the Assassin Brotherhood teaches us that nothing is forbidden to us. Once I thought that meant we were free to do as we would. To pursue our ideals, no matter the cost. I understand now. Not a grant of permission, the creed is a warning. Ideals too easily give way to dogma. Dogma becomes fanaticism. No higher power sits in judgment of us. No supreme being watches to punish us for our sins. In the end, only we ourselves can guard against our obsessions. Only we can decide whether the road we walk carries too high a toll. We believe ourselves redeemers, avengers, saviors. We make war on those who oppose us, and they in turn make war on us. We dream of leaving our stamp upon the world. Even as we give our lives in a conflict that will be recorded in no history book. All that we do, all that we are, begins and ends with ourselves. Yes, later. Oh, well, hello there, Napoleon. 
Wait, what what am I doing there? Oh, it's the same vault. Just placed it among other skulls, I see. Fast forward. <laughs> okay, well, while this is happening, I'm gonna say my opinion of the game, and let me just say that I am half half on this game. Oh my God. All right. I oh. don't believe what I'm seeing. I won this fight two centuries before it started. Uh, well done, kid. Uh, I don't think Abstergo will bother searching the catacombs for Jermaine's body. The bones are gonna be too damaged, too decayed. We're in the clear with this sage. You did good work, Initiate. Until we contact you again, the best you can do is continue searching Arno's memories for anything else he might have seen. Like rare historical data, more DNA samples, anything to help our cause. We'll be in touch when we need you. Count on it. Okay, okay, someone wants to join my club. Well, okay. Exotic YouTube 69. Yeah, I think that's the guy we played co-op with me and Hero at some point. Anyway, um, I'm gonna give this game a 6 out of 10. Uh, th that's only out of kindness, honestly. I would have given it a 5 out of 10 if, um, if I didn't have as much fun as I did with the side stuff in this game. The main story is not bad by any means, but Arno's character is exploring the beginning of the game. But then his character slowly gets them down to the point where he doesn't talk in the side missions. He doesn't show any personality traits. We don't spend enough time with him to actually get to know his character other than in the beginning where he's this teen, you know, who wants to do bad stuff. And then as soon as Belek dies, his personality just kind of stops developing. As soon as Belek dies, Arno just becomes a blank slate. And I don't know why they did that. Maybe because they didn't have enough time or anything. Uh, so I don't know what happened there, uh, and, and box-wise, this game is still riddled with bugs. Uh, both gameplay-wise, visual-wise, and, um, mission-wise. You can even see one floating rocks right there in front of you on the credit screen. Like, come on, Ubisoft. So yeah, it has a bunch. And I'm just gonna say right now to the people who vis visited this game after playing the newer Assassin's Creed games and actually like this. To the point where they love the game. Yeah, the newer games must really be bad. Uh, but now to the actual points of what I'm claiming here, okay? I can't just claim that it's bad without backing, okay? I have to have reasons for it. First of all, I already mentioned the glitches. There are a ton of them. Some are actually mission-breaking, if I remember right. Uh, where... where uh, I don't actually remember. Maybe none of them were mission breaking, uh, other than sometimes uh, your, your the AI just flipped out. I think that's the only time they've really been somewhat breaking. But they always fixed themselves in the end after I did something, like run into them or killed enemies near them or something like that. So they always ended up fixing themselves. Uh, so, so, but visual box, Assassin's Creed has always had visual box. I'm not going to blame this game for visual box, only gameplay box. Uh, but visual box, there are a shite ton of them. Way more than any other Assassin's Creed game. Uh, but that's also understandable, because Paris is a lovely setting. Uh, I'm going to, like, I'm going to continue to talk about Paris later on. But for now, I'm going to focus on the gameplay and the, um, the box. Gameplay is fun. Melee is fun. It's decent. But as soon as you get that overpowered ability where you can do heavy attacks, you just spam that. You don't need anything else. Honestly, it's it's overpowered. They should not have added that. Otherwise, melee without heavy attacks was fun and interesting. Until the level wall hit you. Ooh, I can talk day in and day out about levels and how much I hate them and how they do not belong in Assassin's Creed. But... It's fine. They've had somewhat leveled enemies since the second game, so they're semi-Assassin's Creed friendly. 
but levels you in the past were just health. Like they just they, no, no mind they didn't actually have it because in the past they were just health, not more damage, if I remember right. In Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, but yeah, b back to the gameplay. Uh, when I fought sometimes, uh, the buttons weren't responding, and I can confirm that it's not my controller, because I have played other games with that, and I really think a single time I click, my controls respond. So sometimes in this game specifically, when I click the circle to parry an enemy attacking me, the circle button didn't actually get clicked in the game, but it got clicked on the controller. It just didn't, the game didn't respond in time for the, um, the Arno to actually deflect the enemies, and I don't know why. I did everything right on my end. The game just didn't do everything right on its end. I don't know if there's like spaghetti code somewhere in there or, or if there's just like they attack fast so you can't avoid it or uh, enemies do heavy attacks but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fast attack. Like the yellow attacks I can easily uh, deflect but the, the orange ones even though I click sometimes it doesn't register and I think that's very weird and very gameplay breaking when the game forces you into combat half the time. The reason why I say half the time is, if you really take your time, and I mean really take your time, you can do a lot of stealth in this game. Uh, but if you're a normal person like me, and you just want to do missions without having to sit in a corner for two hours, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go ahead and sneak, go towards the enemy, because they removed a lot of freaking features from other games in this game, which is so sad. So, so sad. Uh, but but yeah, they they um, you cannot force people to go around the corner anymore unless you use some kind of lure or you um, you get seen for a little bit and something like that. And people might argue, you're just bad at stealth search, bro. You can easily lure an enemy around a corner. But then I ask you, what stealth system do you prefer? The one in Assassin's Creed 3 or Black Flag or this one? And I'm honestly gonna go ahead and say that I want Black Flag, but with the crouch function in this one. Not the cover function. The cover function is kind of BS, and sometimes it just doesn't want to work. It, is, it just doesn't want to work. And enemies in this game also have some kind of hive mind. If they're near the vicinity of an enemy who sees you, and I mean near, not like an enemy on the other side of the map actually knows where you are. But like it has like a close range hive mind, right? An enemy sees you. On the top floor of that building, two other enemies are standing up there. An enemy below the building in the room you're in sees you. Those enemies up there will get alerted for some freaking reason, which is so bullshitty and so awful coding about AI that I, I'm just so annoyed by it. I, at the end, I was just like, I'm not going to do stealth because there's no point. They're just going to discover me and everyone is going to know where I am anyway. That's not how you do stealth. Like they did it so well in the other games. It's sure enemies instantly detect you if you're in the middle of combat and they kind of just instantly run towards you. But but in this game, when they made combat somewhat hard, unless you just keep spamming the attack button, you're high level, which is also not the complaint, then it's just it's just BS. Like what, what, do you, what do you expect me to do? And then when they have gunners too, that you can't really kill unless you have another gun? Also, BS, like, what do you want from me, game? You want to spam me with gunners and kill me all the time? Okay, that's on you. You don't deserve me playing you. You don't deserve any players playing you. People say they love this game. Now, I say I hate it. I personally hate this Assassin's Creed game. But, and here, this is a, this is a huge but. I like the Assassin's Creed fantasy in it. Now, now, he hear me out before you start yelling or writing bad stuff in the comment section. I made it perfectly clear that I don't like the stealth and I don't like how the enemies discover you immediately, but you can do stealth. And you look like an assassin. You can customize your assassin. You can make Arno into whatever you want. And here is another but. It's level based, so you have to pick top tier gear in order for him to but then you can't make your own assassin so they're conflicting with what they're making here like you want to make arno cool looking well you have to make him cool looking with the last gear in the tier or you want to uh you want to make him into a uh i don't know a heavy user well you need to get the heavy armor and you can only get it that way so you're forced to do that i'm like okay all right so you, you're telling me i you want me to level my character up and ruin my assassin's creed fantasy in order to appeal to your game's level system. Okay. That ruins the Assassin's Creed fantasy. 
this game should not have levels. I don't know why they decided to add levels. I know the newer Assassin's Creed game, like, doubled down on it for some freaking weird reason. But it should just not have levels. There's no point in it. Like, try to make AI more difficult by them having more attacks or different ways of attacking. We can look at Dark Souls for this. I don't like Dark Souls, but I love the AI in that game, besides the fact that you're stuck in those all the time. Uh, but they have different AI that do different things, like different enemies that do different things. Here, it's just all enemies attack you. They run, they attack you. Sometimes they shoot you, especially if they have axes for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why the axe people are so keen on shooting you. Same with the staff people, they also just like to shoot you a lot. The normal dudes don't shoot you as much. I don't know exactly how they made them, but they're pretty much the exact same kind of enemy, and it's just... Why? Why not make them specialize? One specialize in melee, one specialize in range. They pretty much have those two, but those are the, also the only two they have. They only have ranged and melee, and the melee is mixed with range. Every single enemy with melee is mixed with ranged. I, 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 I don't understand. Why do we have to put levels on them? Why do we have to put level on districts? Uh, which then leads me to Paris, okay? Paris in this game looks lovely. I wanted to run everywhere. I wanted to experience all the scenery. It looks so good. Honestly, the game does not look like it was made in 2014. It looks like it was made in 2020 or 2021. I don't know about 2022. That's a little bit stretching it. But 2020 and 2021, I feel like it looks like a game that was made during that time. Honestly. Doesn't feel like a game that was made during that time, but it looks like it. Uh, and I guess people base the graphics a lot on why this game is good. I say, sure, the graphics are good, but the gameplay is kind of shit. Honestly. Uh... I, I, I don't know how, how to explain it more. Uh, I've already given you the reasons why, but the level districts, not fun. Pa Paris, fun to traverse, uh, especially with the new parkour system. And again, here we have a bot. But the new parkour system is only good if you go in a straight line. What I mean by that is, it's only good if you, as an example, want to go down from a building, bloop, or up a building, bloop, or run straight through the rooftops. If you're trying to traverse from building to building to building, like on the walls and such, it's not made to hang on walls. Never try to use, like, climb on walls and climb sideways and stuff. It, it does not work. I... Sometimes he just stocks, like, sticks to an area where he can't continue. Sometimes he doesn't want to listen to you and he jumps down on the ground. And sometimes he just... I don't know, just flips out and just goes back and forth, back and forth. I, I prefer to parkour in the older games, uh, honestly, because that had more player control. Here it feels like you're getting punished if you're trying to control him instead of the system. And you get stuck if you try to guide him. Uh, but if you just let the system take over, he goes wherever he wants to go, but not where you want him to go. And that's bad in an Assassin's Creed game. But this game also has freaking nice animations. Like, there's a lot of bots everywhere. You can talk about any specific part of the game and you can say but. Everything bad you can also say but to, except the level system. You can argue that but we need some kind of difficulty spike, don't we? You see the older games, they did not have a difficulty spike except enemies getting a little bit more health. Just make the levels a little bit more difficult. You need- you're the freaking- you're a triple A company. Make the levels interesting. Make them reflect the difficulty. Not enemies have more health and do more damage. Like, come on. Bully sponginess is not part of Assassin's Creed. And I'm so looking forward to playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Just so I can keep yelling, I don't like bullet sponges. Oh, the spongy enemies. I hate them. Uh, but, but goddamn. It does not belong. I, I I can keep saying it. It does not belong in Assassin's Creed. And I'm not I'm just talking about this game now. Because it really ruined my experience. I also love the detective uh, stuff in the game though. I just wish there were more of it. Because you only find a few of them. And when you do find them, uh it, it can actually be pretty hard to figure out who did it, and it's interesting and fun. But it never really shines as much as I think it could have. That's also something to think about.
Uh, oh boy, I'm about to run out of um, I'm about to run out of space. Well, that's not good. Uh, in case you guys don't know, I, I I have a certain amount of space on my uh, my drive that I sent this to, and it doesn't really want to work. So I guess I'm just gonna skip the rest because it's just going to catacombs. Come on, is there a cutscene? Is it just gonna send me right back to the game? Okay, it's gonna, it's gonna send me back to the game. All right, so there are letters and stuff I can do. Now, because this is a still image, I'm hoping that it won't run out of space. Uh, but who knows? And uh, now to finish everything off, I enjoyed Paris. Okay, this is just to make my conclusion here. I enjoyed running through Paris. Great open world. Too much stuff, though. I don't want to do all that stuff. Too much of everything. 40 collectibles is too much. 13 is manageable and probably fun to get. But after 13, you go, why? Why am I doing this? There's no point. I'm not going to get a good reward. Even if I get a good reward, it's not worth spending all this time on doing this. Uh, secondly, locking everything behind a skill tree, uh, locking a lot of stuff behind a skill tree, also not fun. Alright, it's not fun. Don't use a skill tree like this. Make it extra abilities, not abilities you should have from the get-go. Like, even if it was, like, lockpicking, it should, like, say, okay, this is level 1 lockpicking, and then now you can get level 2 and then level 3 afterwards. But instead it was, like... All right, you can get level one lock picking, but after sequence eight, you can get level two. And I'm like, why? How how does that make sense? Spoiler, it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. It, it just doesn't. It's just the game saying, play me or you won't be able to do all the open world stuff. Or rather, play the main story, you won't be able to do that. Like, forcing you into the main story, not fun. Uh... So, to get this straight, open world, great. Loot, though, bad. Uh, or collectibles, bad. Didn't feel like doing half of it, because it's just too much. Uh, enemies, bad. Uh, pretty much the same melee enemy all the time, but with guns. And then we got a gun guns, which always screw you over, because guns are overpowered in this game, even for the player, they're overpowered. But even as the player, you wouldn't get a certain amount of shots. Enemies have infinite, so you're screwed either way. So yeah, bad enemies, poor enemy design. Uh, customization, let's go with that. Character and customization, this is pretty much every Assassin's Creed fan's fantasy come, to true, uh, come true, you know? You can customize your character as much as you want, you can pretend it's you, you can go do whatever, you know, go yada 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 yada. Customize, this is my Arno, this is who I would be if I was an assassin during this time. Parkour through rooftops with the new animations and stuff make you feel cool. Animations this game, beautiful, awesome. Uh, parkour animations especially, uh, I like that. And customizability, I like it. Weapon customizability, I like it. I just wish you had to go to a weapon store or something instead of just going into your inventory and character customization. And I wish they would go down in the world more and less HUD, if you know what I mean. Like, plant all the HUD in the world instead of going into your inventory. Like, skills, go to your brotherhood and see a training dude. Who then teaches you. A little bit like Assassin's Creed 1 when you unlock new abilities. Uh, he pretty much... Uh, there you actually had to do your uh, your training and then you learned it. Again, even though Secretary Alter yeah, already knew all this stuff beforehand. But oh well. The player didn't, okay? Uh, so that taught you. They have a trainer in this game. Uh, but you never make use of him and you don't use him to really unlock skills. You, you can just go into your menu. Like, I, I strongly suggest just removing this menu. I was just removing it and then uh, just making sure you go to the world locations instead. Now, I'm sure there are some people that are like, but I want to customize my character whenever I want to, not when I go to a place. I mean, sure. Okay. Uh, but, but then I hope the game also thinks about people that want to go to the location and want to train and want to use skills and... And all that good stuff, you know? Uh, just in general, so they think about the people that want to immerse themselves in their games more than the people who are just here to play the game a little bit and then go again right after. Because I, I did enjoy traversing Paris, and in my opinion, fast travel is only an excuse to make a bad open world. I've heard a lot of people say no, that's not the case, but I personally believe that that is the case. Okay, if you fast travel, that means you did not do your job on the open world. 
And in this game, it honestly felt like it didn't have to fast travel. The world is not too big. Uh, never felt like I have to fast travel unless there was a mission I failed. But I just couldn't be bothered to do it. And I'm like, oh, the other missions on the other side of the freaking map, really? Then I might consider it, but I only did it once. Uh, so, so, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Alright, Assassin's Creed game. Overall, it's not a good game. It's a decent game. And if you love Assassin's Creed, like I said, and you love the Assassin's Creed fan, I know it's annoying that I keep saying this, sorry. But, but you should get it. Uh, uh, otherwise, I would say try to avoid this game. Uh, and uh, I mean, if you're out of Assassin's Creed games to play, you can play this one. But it does not appeal to my personal Assassin's Creed fantasy as much as Assassin's Creed 3 did. Uh, just because I don't work alongside other assassins. You get to see the Brotherhood at work. You don't get to see how the assassins function. It's just... Well, you kind of do, but it's just you getting sent on missions. But you don't get to work with your fellow assassins, unless they're players. You don't get all the Assassin's Creed lore. You don't know what's happening outside of Paris, because you never, ever, ever get told. Except for one time where they mention Connor's Brotherhood, and... There was another one? Like, Belek mentioned two brotherhoods that got destroyed. In the past. And he wanted to stop that from happening or something like that. Otherwise, you know nothing about the outside world and it's just Paris. Arno focused on Elise. That's pretty much it. Arno focused on Elise, not the brotherhood. Arno focused on Elise, not the brotherhood. I would love to know more about the flippant brotherhood in this game. That's why I don't like it that much, because the world building of the Brotherhood itself, of the assassin influence of the world, is not present. It's just not there. It's just Arno getting recruited and that's it. Now you're an assassin, you go on missions. Boom. Hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. I do plenty of other playthroughs. I'm less hard on other games if I enjoy them. 100%, not 60% of the time. Yes, I would say I enjoyed this game 60% of the time. Maybe 75%. You know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be nice. 75%. Yes, that is me being nice. <laughs> uh all the YouTubers to say they love it. You can listen to them if you want. Uh but this game is pretty cheap now, so I mean you could just buy it. Uh try it out for yourself. It's not exactly an expensive game anymore. Like I said, I love Assassin's Creed, but this game, though, this one really got on my nerves just because of this stupid level system. And the guns, of course. The guns that can pretty much two-shot you. That's also, you know, a negative. Uh, but, 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 yeah. Had some fun in it, though. Had some fun. Uh, buying stuff and um, managing my own things and uh, upgrading the theater was fun. Just the whole Elise story, just, just, I hope they never do that again, okay? Don't focus an Assassin's Creed game on romance, please. <laughs> just don't. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. I do plenty of other playthroughs you can check out if you really want to. Um, like I said, I am less harsh on those playthroughs. Uh, I'm, I'm just an honest person. I don't like to say a game is good if it's not, in my opinion, or from my point of view. Uh, and I can just say that I had way more fun in other Assassin's Creed games. Especially Assassin's Creed 3 for me was extremely fun and Black Flag. I pretty much 100%ed those games. This one I didn't feel like doing it. Pretty much halfway through the game. I think I said it too that I didn't feel like half, uh, like 100 in the game. Uh, so yeah, there are, there are the Assassin's Creed games out there if you really... This is your first Assassin's Creed game. Uh, but yeah, I played through all sorts of games. So, like I said, take those out if you want. I'm just gonna stop talking now because I've been talking way too long and repeated myself way too much. So, you guys, as always, stay awesome and I hope to see you in another playthrough of mine.